who uh, so is not teaching defensive driving classes or creating real estate curb appear by virtue of landscaping company. He is helping people convert their dreams into reality. In his spare time, he enjoys making custom rustic coolers. He joined Toastmaster July 1st, 2010, in the quest of enhancing his public speaking abilities. He was born in Laredo, Mexico, has been married for over 28 years, and is a father of two daughters and a son. He is a retired naval chief pet officer, small business owner, and a graduate of the Harris County Citizens Police Academy. Giving his ninth speech from the CC Manu, Project number eight, comfortable with racial aids. Objective is to use racial aids correctly with ease and confidence. Title, The Slippery Snow. Please help me welcome our club president, Omar De La Cruz. I won't be needing my cheaters for this. <laughs> In the mid-eastern part of the United States, it snows just about every winter. The house we used to live in sat up on the hill, and it had a pretty nice slope going down. So you can imagine in the winter, when it snowed nice, it made for a very nice slope. I can recall my wife bundling up the kids because they wanted to go outside and play, go down that slope. <coughs> now, myself, I hate the winter, but I was a team player. I watched them play from inside with my hot cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Saying to myself, <clears throat> please don't get hurt. That's not going to the hospital today. <laughs> Good evening, fellow Toastmaster, fellow members, and guests. Although this is a fun slope to go down from, the slope that I'm referring to has nothing to do with this. It deals with the slope that us adults go through later on in life. Inevitably, at one point or another, we all go down this slope. I'm here today to caution you, to make you aware of the slope that I'm talking about. The slope that I'm talking about deals with emotions where fear, sorrow, tears may flow. It's inevitable. It happens. It happens more than once sometimes. It comes in a stage of six, six stages. It starts off with the moment. The moment when something negative occurs in your life that turns your world inside out. Maybe it's happened to you. Maybe you have this beautiful home, three, four thousand square feet, large, three car garage, an executive and a well respected company out there. Credit cards maxed out. <laughs> And you get the word that the company is downsizing. And your number came up. They're going to let you go. That's when the slippery slope starts out. Or maybe you've been married for X amount of years. And one of you stepped out of the covenant of marriage. Oh, it happens. It happens more often than not. 
Did you guys not hear years back about that astronaut that drove from Houston, Texas, all the way to where? Florida. Florida. With diapers on top of that. Because when you're going down that slippery slope, you're not thinking. That's stage number one. When something negative occurs in your life. Then it moves on to denial. To denial because you don't want to accept that that just happened to you. Not me. I'm well educated. I have a prestige job. I've been married so long. I'm an excellent citizen. How could that happen to me? But the reality is, it does happen. It happens more often than not. Maybe it's happened to you. Maybe it's happened to a loved one. Maybe you're going through it right now. Denial. After denial comes anger. Because you get so upset at what just happened that you just can't believe it. You're in, oh, you're just irate. You just want to go to the roof. You start turning around. You start shaking. You're so mad. Especially if whatever happened was beyond your control. And it wasn't your fault. We just get mad. We get so mad. Huh. These are all signs, folks, to be looking out for. Then you enter into the stage of the bargaining stage. The bargaining stage where you want to do anything to just make it go away. Please! I can't handle this. I just want it to go away. I want things to be the way they were. In reality, it would be nice if you just snapped the finger and they went away. But it doesn't work that way, folks. The next stage is the fifth stage, which I consider to be a very, very difficult stage in your life. <clears throat> you enter into the pit. You enter into the pit because this is where fear and depression set in. It's also where your faith is tested. Fear and depression. Many people lose their life right here in this stage, right here, in the pit. Why? Because they don't know how to deal with it. They don't know what to expect next. They feel that that's the end for me. I'm better off not being here. Those are words that if you hear somebody say, pay attention to them. Because often they come with a very heavy price. That's a slippery slope. You keep slipping and you keep slipping. So finally, you come to the sixth stage. That's when you just accept it. You accept what happened, because if you're able to surpass all of the above, you enter into the acceptance stage, where you just accept it and move on. And I'm here to tell you that time has a way of healing. Time has a way of healing. Nothing that could ever happen to us is worth staying in stage number five. Nothing. Because there is a tomorrow. <clears throat> and it is up to each and every one of us to make sure that we know there is a tomorrow, that you are loved and cared for. I'd like to leave you by saying, beware of the slippery slope. If you get in stage number five, ask for help. Ask for help. You don't have to go through it alone. Let's talk.